Mike and Deb from Iron Horse Overland here, and we are back in Canada. Canadia. Mike likes to say Canadia. Oh my goodness. Top of the world highway, Ma. Yep, top of the world highway. Just beautiful. Heading for Dawson City. Yep, and we have lucked out, and although we have a little bit of smoke, we have blue sky. It is absolutely stunning. Yes, it is. The uh, road's pretty well maintenanced, and the border crossing, very nice border guards. Oh yeah, they were ab absolutely cool. Yep, we uh, just made the time limit. They were getting ready to Close it up. shut her down for the evening. This uh, border crossing up here is not 24 hours, and it also shuts down um, in the winter time. Because I mean, I don't think a lot of people drive up here in the winter time because it's and a lot of snow. Public service announcement: Make yeah. sure you do your Arrive Can Canada app when you're in town and you have good service because we forgot. Yeah, we forgot when we were in. Toke, and we figured we'd be able to do it in chicken, but yep. because of all the fires and everything, chicken's internet was down. Yep. So thanks to the wonderful world of satellite communication via Garmin text, we were able to get one of our family members to download the app. Way to go, Bean! Yep, way to go, our daughter Amanda, and from Spitfire Overland. She was able to download the app and follow all of my directions to answer all of the questions appropriately. And we got it done. Because they will not let you across the border unless you have the Canada, Arrive Canada app done. Yep. And it's a hundred miles back to Toe. So, thank you again, Amanda. Another little interesting thing that we had coming up here is we almost hit a caribou. Oh, yeah. We have to uh, put a, a shout out to... Power Breaks Official. Power Breaks Instagram. Official. Delone. We were going down Thank the highway. Thank you. And this adventure bike was coming the other way around a corner and running alongside him was a big old caribou. And when it saw us, it locked up the brakes and turned right in front of us. So it was it was almost ugly, but Mike was able to uh, step very hard on the brakes, and our power very brakes hard. took us to a nice, easy, easy slowdown, and we missed that caribou by I think literally the hairs on his little behind. Yeah. I would have been running stock brakes going down that hill. Oh yeah, I would have hit that we, caribou. We'd have creamed him. It would have been ugly. Uh, but anyway, so we've had uh, two saves on on this road trip. Power break and our daughter Amanda from Spitfire Overland able to get the arrive can done for us. You see all the little purple flowers on the side of the road? Those are called fireweed. Yes. And which Just is interesting. In case wages on Instagram told us that. Yep, fireweed. We asked afterwards because I was wondering why it was called fireweed when it's purple, not red. But apparently, when it first starts out, it's kind of reddish. But the main reason it's called fireweed is because it is the first wildflower and generally the first greenery to sprout up after, after a fire. fire. Very hardy. Uh, very hardy and also apparently makes an amazing tea. I bought some at the little spot that we were at. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but it's supposed to be very good and very healthy for you. So I'll be trying that out. But anyway, hope everybody's doing well. If you have the opportunity, come up and do this. It is beautiful. It looks like you, I mean, you just get beautiful scenery from Alaska and into Canada, and then we've got Dawson City coming up. Yeah, Roger from uh, Getting Out With Grace told us about how beautiful this was, and he was not over-exaggerating. No, he was not. This is gorgeous. It's something that we were supposed to have been able to do with them, but uh, our axle break 
leakage has put us a, a little on plan. I think we're on like plan D now, yeah, but, but that's a okay. A lot of changes, but that's all right. It's all good and it's all beautiful. So, all right, everybody, have fun and we'll talk to you later. Bye. So here's the ferry coming to get us. Right now it's got a big old 18 wheeler on it. That thing has got to have some serious motors on it. Yeah, because look at that. Uh... This thing runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week during the summer. Well, 23 hours 23 a day. Hours. It's closed between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. for service. That is pretty darn impressive. Whoever's piloting it knows what they're doing. Yep, and it just goes back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. All day long, every day, all day, all summer. Then it has uh, reduced hours during the shoulder periods. Make a little dingy on the side. Pretty darn cool. We're gonna have to go on like two or three more of these on the dumpster. That's what Roger was saying, these beachheads yep. were washing away. I can see that. This edges it on up. That thing's got to have some serious little thrusters. Pretty nifty. Pretty awesome. A big old 18 wheeler pulling, I don't know, probably like, some sort of mine, mining rig or something. They got Bobcat back there. They got, uh, yeah, some, I don't know what the heck it is. This guy's got a little sign that says slow. Now he's going to swing it around straight. Some serious piloting right there. Welcome to the Yukon Territory. Yep.